Hello guys, this is Frank Ilo from Afro Design Studios. In today's lesson, we shall be learning staircase. Staircase, how to add staircase in your Revit model or your Revit project. If you look at this, our cutting wall, this is where we are supposed to have our staircase, but the staircase is not yet there. We don't have staircase there yet. We have to put our staircase here, and this door here leads you to the staircase. How do you put your staircase inside the building or in the project? So, to so start immediately, we go to the ground floor level, the 02 GFL. Double click on it. This is where the staircase should be. First and foremost, I normally use the detail line to first sketch how the staircase is going to look like before I now create the actual staircase. So let's get that running. I go to annotate, I click on detail line, then from detail line, I click on offset and type in 900. 900 is the width of my flight, uh, sorry, the width of my landing. So here is my landing. Here is the landing of this staircase. So I have to start offsetting my threads. So I still go inside the offset and type 300. And sorry, not there. I go to offset, click on offset again, and change this to 300. 300 is the width of my thread. So I start clicking on these lines, and they will be offsetting. They will be offsetting just like that, just like that. Just like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think this should be ten. Okay. I think I have to make this ten. Although this door will not work here, but because this is just tutorial, never mind. In your actual what is it called in your normal projects? You have to factor in the span of your staircase. This door cannot work here. This door can only swing outside. For that reason, should I swing it out? Let me swing this door out. I click on this and click here. Yes. Although this staircase is too close to the wall, but never mind. This is just a tutorial. So, having sketched this, the I want the width of my flight to be 900 as well. So I click on annotate, go to detail line again, go to offset and type in 900. That is the width of my flight. So I click like this and come down here. I'm going to stop here. Then I click on this other one and go like this and stop here. So this in between, is just free. This place is open. The middle is open. So having done this, I have to do the next thing. I press escape twice first. Then having done that, I go to architecture. Click on architecture. From architecture, I'm going to go to staircase, stair. Though there are different ways to draw it, the staircase. If you click on this arrow, you will see the other part. We have stair by component and we have stair by sketch. Stair by sketch, you are going to use your hand to sketch it. Uh, to sketch it. But Using sketch by component is like automatic, okay? So we are going to use, what we are using now is stair by component. So I click on stair by component. I go to my type selector. I click on edit type, click on edit type. Then I go to duplicate, click on, it, on duplicate. I come here and change the name because I'm duplicating this. I want my risers to be 300, so I have to type in 300 here. Um, sorry, my threads, 300. My risers will be 150. My risers will be 150. So, 150 millimeters maximum riser by 300 millimeters thread. That is what this simply means. So, I click OK. Then I still come here again. For my riser height, I make it 150 millimeters. For my thread width, I make it 300. My riser height, 150. My thread width, 300. Then my maximum wrong width, which is the width of my flight i make it 900 then i click ok after clicking ok i still need to come here 
and change this to 900. My run width, 900. Then I still come here. It is not yet over. I still come here. When I come here, is it is asking me where do I want this my staircase to stop? By default, Revit is leaving it at beam level. So you must come and correct this. Revit is, Revit is always in the habit of suggesting for you. But if what Revit is suggesting for you is not what you want, you have to change it. So I have to change this and put it at first floor level. I want my, my, my staircase to go all the way to my first level, which is 04 FFL. I, click, I leave it at that point. Then I come here. It is which, what this means is that base level is where the staircase is going to start from. It's starting from the 0 02 ground floor level, and top level is where it is going to where it is going to stop. It is going to stop at my first floor level. That is 0 04 level. Okay. Having done this, automatically Revit will give you the number of risers, which is 22 risers. So and the actual thread is um, 300 millimeters. Then you click apply. Once you click apply, you now come here and click on these very points and click on this and go. When you go, you discover that the staircase, the risers are in the middle of this line. Instead of coming this way, instead of coming to your left hand side. So what are you going to do? Click on this arrow here. You can see the arrow here. Click on this arrow and select um, right. If you select right, it will go to the left side of your, your hand. If you go to the left hand side, so you move like this, and as you are going, if you look at the bottom here, be looking at this point, this point, you will see something that something is written. Once you move, look at the place I showed you, you can see 10 risers created, 12 remaining. So as you are moving, it will be changing. Now it is telling you 11 created and 11 remaining. So I click at this point and stop. When I click at that point and stop, I'm going to turn like this and come to this other line and start here again. I'm going to start here and click here and move like this and come down. It is telling me nine created, two remaining. So I keep on moving until when I see zero remaining. You can see it, 11 created and what? Zero remaining. Then I click. When I click there, I now come here and say finish edit mode. It is going to show me a warning, but do do not mind this warning. Disregard the warning and click at the empty space here. So this is the staircase that I've created now. If I go to my default 3D view, you will see it. This is it. This is the staircase running up to the first floor. Or you can see through the glasses here, through the cutting wall, that this, our staircase, is being obstructed by this floor. The floor is obstructing it. So we have to cut open the floor. We have to open the floor. How do we do that? We have to go to first floor level 04 FFL. I don't click on it. Then I come here. When we come here now, we'll try to locate the floor. Just place your cursor on this wall here, like this. And go to your keyboard. You will see tab T A B. Keep on pressing that tab one after the one. One time at a uh, once at a time. So I click on it once. You will see some portion of the building is highlighted. I click on it the second time. Only a few portion is highlighted, showing the showing the floor plan, showing the floor slab. Sorry, you can see it. Just be looking at this point, this place. You will see a line. So I'm I'm, I'm going to go again. I position it at this wall. I press tab one press tab 2, it has shown, then I click. My floor is highlighted in blue. So as it, is, as it is highlighted, I go to edit boundary. Once it is highlighted like this, I go to edit boundary, click on edit boundary, then you will see the lines in pink. So, this step, staircase is stopping somewhere here. So I have to draw a line. I click on line, and start from where it stops. I click here and go like this. I'll stop here. I zoom in properly to make sure I'm at the right place. So, I go like this. Then I use this trim to corner and trim this. I trim this to this. 
Mind you, I want to cut open this place. I want this place to be open, to be free. What that means is that the whole of this place would not be bounded by the pink line. It will be excluded. It will be exempted by the encirclement or the encircling of the pink line. The pink lines will not encircle or enclose this place. This place will be free. That means it is actually a void. So I click here and I click here. So three minutes. After three minutes, I go to what is it called again? I go to finish edit mode and click. It will ask me this question: Would you like walls that go up to this floor's level to attach to its bottom? I would I would say no. Click on no. You can see the demarcation has been made. The whole of this place is now open. That is why the blue line, the blue color background is not reaching here. So this place is now a void at the stairwell. So I click on empty space. I can click anywhere here. So if I go to my default 3D view, you can see that it has been removed. It has been removed. This place is no longer a void. It is no longer a void. Let me go to the next view. So look at it now. This is all we have. The void that was initial, initially here has been removed. So it is only stopping somewhere here. You can see the, 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 the slab is only here now. The void, the slab starts from here and ends here. Then from here to here to the end is nothing but a void. So that is how to cut open the floor slab. In order to review to review the staircase so this is how to create your staircase but to round up or to conclude I would also like to use the staircase, staircase method to create the step that will be here instead of using this type of step I want to use the staircase method to create this the step that will be here so that it will enable us to have what is it called to have to have handrail you can see that this one does not have a handrail but if you want to create a step that has handrail, you have to use the staircase method. So that's what I'm going to use here to create the step. So what we do, we go to the natural ground level, so click on it. After doing that, you come here, you go to the stair, click on the stair. Then when you come here now, because we have already edited this, you don't need to come and then go to edit type anymore. Just select this 150 millimeters maximum riser by 300 millimeters thread. That is okay for you. Good to go. Then it will ask you the same question again. Scroll up. When you scroll up, it is asking you, okay, the base level is where? It is on the natural ground level. Then where is this staircase going to stop? It is going to stop at the ground floor level. This one is not going to be the it is not going to the first floor. It is only going to stop at DPC level. So you select this one. When you have selected this, then you scroll down. Automatically, Revit will, will tell you that if you want this your staircase to stop at the DPC level, it means you are going to have three, um, four risers. Or that is what this means. Desired number of risers. There are four. Automatically um, put there for you by Revit. Automat by automatic um, means. Having done that, the next thing you have to select is the width, the wrong width of this year step. I want this the wrong width to be 1.5 meters, which is 1,500. So I come to actual wrong width and put 1,500 here. 1,500. Having done that, then I'm, I come down. When I come down now, I have to start somewhere here. Anywhere. Let me just start from here. Let me start somewhere. Yeah, let me start there. Then I come down. When I come down, you can see what it is writing. It said four risers created zero remaining. So I click. When I click, I now go here and say finish edit mode and finish it. 
So if you go to the 3D view, you see that this my risers are moving into the house. It is going down into the house, which is the wrong thing to do. But I, I would want you to look at it first before I turn it. I'm going to rotate it outward. So if I go to my default 3D view, you can see it is going inside the house. So I have to rotate it and make it face the outside. So I also go back to natural ground level. When I get there, I click on this. I make sure that I have selected the right something. Yes, this is the, the stair. I click on it. Then I go here. This is called the rotate tool. You can see my cursor. This is the rotate. I click on the rotate. Then I can see this line, black line that is moving about. Make sure you station it. Make it to be straight, vertically or horizontally. So I make it straight, vertically. Then I rotate through an 180 and bring it in here. Make sure it is straight. If it is not straight, you can make. If it is not straight, the staircase is going to be tilted. So I click. When I click, then I click outside. After doing that, I go to my default 3D view and see how it looks like. You can see I have the accurate something now. This is the right thing I am having right now. So you can see that this step now has, what is it called? It has handrail, but this one that we created using sweep does not have handrail. So this is all about how to create the staircase. But in subsequent lessons, we are going to learn how to use the um, sketch method, how to sketch staircase on your own, especially when you have complicated shapes of staircase. You don't use this type of method to create it. You use sketch. Um, stair, stair by sketch. Let me look at it again. You use stair by sketch. So that's what you use. But in case this staircase is not well positioned, is not well centralized on this door, you can change it by yourself. You can go to the south elevation. Go to south elevation. So you click on this, click on the staircase, and using the arrow keys on your keyboard, you can be shifting it. I think it is better now. It is well centralized on the door. Depending on what you what you want, actually. So you can leave it like that and click outside. So if you, if you go to your default 3D view again, if you go to your default 3D view, this is what you are going to have. And this is where this class will be ending. Thank you once again for watching. And do not fail to subscribe to our free design studios on YouTube. Thank you so much.